If you're a fan of the Andy Griffith Show like I am and watch it daily, you'll be familiar with the name Lydia Crosswaite. Now, Lydia Crosswaite is one of the most memorable characters in the Andy Griffith Show. She was only in four episodes, and she didn't always play Lydia. She was in uh, Goober and the Art of Love, I think, which is the classic with her. And she plays Lydia Crosswaite. And then she was also in Barney Men's A Broken Heart. And she plays Lydia in that. And then she was in the beauty contest in season one, and she plays Josephine Pike. And she also, in season one, in the episode Mayberry Goes Hollywood, plays Juanita Pike. So the names kind of changed there in season one. She's remembered so well because of her bland affect. And she looks like she ought to be working in a library somewhere. She seems super naive but yet she'll tell you exactly what she's thinking, no matter what the consequences. So let's take a look at her today and her real name of Josie Lloyd. Now, Josie was born in 1940, and she's the daughter of one of the most well-known actors in Hollywood. And uh, he's about 100 years old right now. His name is Norman Lloyd. You'll probably remember him from St. Elsewhere, but he goes way back into Hollywood history and is a, uh, a guy that rubbed elbows with people like Charlie Chaplin and people that were pioneers in the television and movie business. He was good friends with Orson Welles. And her mother was Peggy Lloyd, and she was an actress too. Now, as a teenager growing up in Los Angeles in the late 50s, She'd gained on-set experience in television production by observing her father acting and directing in things like Alfred Hitchcock Presents. On that series in 1959, she performed her first speaking role on a television episode called The Graduating Class. Her father was the associate producer of that episode, and she played Vera Carson in it. The year after her role in graduating class, she briefly had uncredited performances as a girl in the New Year's Eve party on the film Studs Lonigan. She then returned to television, where between 1960 and 1967, she worked on a variety of series. She had two additional roles on Alfred Hitchcock Presents, as well as multiple performances on Dr. Kildare, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, The Farmer's Daughter, and The Andy Griffith Show. You will also see her in other television roles like This Man Dawson, Have Gun Will Travel, The Twilight Zone, My Three Sons, Route 66, Long Hot Summer, and Occasional Wife. Following her performance as Miss Efficiency, on Occasional Wife in 1967, she appears to have just disappeared from television or any type of film role. Uh, there's no documentation of her at all. I have searched and searched trying to find any more information on her, and it just doesn't exist. So she evidently is trying to maintain a totally different life than she had when she was in front of the camera. Now, between 1961 and 1965, she appeared in the four episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. On two occasions, she was the mayor's daughter, and in two other episodes, she plays her most memorable role as Lydia Crossway. In 1962, she was cast for the first time as the odd, socially inept Lydia in Barney Men's A Broken Heart. She returned three years later in... Goober and the Art of Love, which aired in February of 1965. In the 1962 episode, Lydia is a prospective date for Andy Taylor, arranged by Deputy Barney Fife. Some details about Lydia's life and insight into her personality emerge from several disjointed conversations she has during the evening's get-together with Andy and Goober. 
Now, she's originally from Greensboro, North Carolina, as she's introduced as Thelma Lou's friend who works in Mount Pilot, although it appears that Lydia resides at least near Mayberry, where her father is a disgruntled former employee of the local lumber plant. While she is very shy by nature, Lydia is quite outspoken and deliberate in voicing her aversions and limitations. She expresses a willingness to participate in ordinary conversation, but she professes to despise chit-chat. She also dislikes dancing and lacks any passion for music, noting only that she does not mind the clarinet or saxophone, but she hates the guitar. A variety of foods, including pretzels and chocolate candy, easily upset her thin frame. When offered pretzels at the home of Helen Crump, Lydia declines the snack by explaining that they tend to lay on her chest. As far as her leisure activities are concerned, her ability to participate in sports or games is highly restricted by both physical and moral boundaries. She cannot bowl due to a bad back. She refuses to play cards, even the children's game Go Fish, and she states that she just doesn't gamble. Now, we know she drives a car. She has one that has bad tires and an oil problem. However, riding in a car as a passenger is an exercise of extreme discomfort for her. She gets car sick easily, and when going on road trips with other people, she must sit next to the door. So she can, as Andy describes it, hang her head out the window like a dog. You can just about bet money that one of the writers or Andy himself knew somebody that was named Lydia Crossway. They tend to put in people they knew or names that they were associated with into the script. So I'll bet you anything that somebody at that table reading knew somebody of that name. Her acting portrayal of Lydia Crosswaite is just amazing. She nails this character so well that it is seared in our memories, her responses, and her mannerisms. Josie must be around 80 years old right now and just loves her privacy. I wish to thank her for her lovely roles that she portrayed. They are some of the best that you will see on The Andy Griffith Show. Thank you so much for watching.